Joan Vickers believes her quiet eye concept can help other athletes in pressure situations. For several seasons, she's worked to improve the free throw percentage of the University of Calgary's women's basketball team. The team's coach is Shawnee Harley. In the first three, I want you to look right where the net goes through the little ring on the front of the rim. When you look up there, I want you to say sight, focus. And then you're going to out shoot. Loud. Yes, every, it all has to be out loud. All right? Yep. Nothing but net. Sight, focus. The nothing but net mantra is to settle the player down. Saying sight, focus, ensures her gaze is steady on the target for at least one second. Okay, good. One more. Nothing but net. Sight, focus. When I watched our players shoot, I was amazed at how few of them actually even looked at the rim for probably any more than two to three hundred milliseconds. We had shooters on our team that would, were looking at the top of the backboard, the bottom of the net and completely unaware that they were doing that. This was before they studied the quiet eye technique. Yes, <clears throat> before we gave them the training. Shawnee's team was shooting 54% mm. when we started working with them. During that first season, they improved 12% here in this experimental setting, but it didn't show up in terms of that season of play. But the next year, you were, what, 13th or 14th in the nation, uh, that year, and then the next year they came second wow. in the country, and they had improved by 22%, which is unheard of. What's happening in the brain well, when you do the quiet eye thing? It seems to recognize how the body wants to really work. The mind wants to get it organized, and then the body wants to do it. But when you put those two things together, mm. you're putting a tremendous amount of pressure on the whole system, and it breaks down. It especially breaks down when, when a person's under stress. Okay, Alan. And speaking of a person under stress. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> See if I can do that again. The idea here is that during the quiet eye moment, my brain is absorbing and organizing all the information it needs for taking the shot. Once my body starts the action itself, vision becomes irrelevant. In fact, according to Joan, trying to keep my eye on the hoop as I'm throwing is a harmful distraction. Boy, it's very hard to give up on it. So I, I did take my eye off it as soon as I started to shoot. What you're supposed to do. Builds up trust. Actually seeing this, I believe now that I only have to look at it two seconds and then I can let my body do what it does. And it, and it goes right in. I mean, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it works. Oh, sweet. Front door I'm back. living proof it works. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a competitive streak. Have yeah, yeah. we it. noticed? <laughs> well, that was really fun. Was it? Good? Yeah, it was really. It's amazing. I mean, yeah. it's. It, you know what I love about it is, I mean, you do what all the scientists on this program do, who we interview. You find a way to look at what people haven't looked at yet, exactly. and to measure it. Yeah. And you just lift up the carpet and you show what's under. And we've been walking on the carpet all our lives. We don't know what's under it. And then you just take a peek at it, and all of a sudden we have a whole new way to work, and it's counterintuitive. Yeah. One, one of the things that uh, I was thinking about when you were shooting is that you've actually changed your technique from when you began. It's a much softer shot, right? And David in the golf was saying the same thing. He's changed his mechanics of his stroke. And, but we don't teach that. We don't actually teach a change in technique. Mm. as much as we change, teach a change in focus and attention. You change the way you look and when you look, huh? Yeah. The, and that changes the it, way you do things. Right, and then you reconfigure your body yourself yeah. in order to suit that.